Who that is that is too hot for my liking. I I am not I am not happy about that. Gold shell. Uh, let's see if I can do it. No, I gotta take out the friend. Hardware errors on some of the chips. So maybe, just maybe, I need to re-thermal paste this. Yeah, you know what? I may re-thermal paste it if you know, some of these chips are maybe overheating. There, there needs to be a mod. We, we, we need the mod. All right, meter box, if you're watching this, we're gonna need a secondary fan, probably both fans on each side to keep this thing cool somehow. Hey guys, Red Pen of Money here. Hope y'all doing well, having a really great day. I got a new Gold Shell KA box here. This is the new Caspa Basic Miner, Mini Miner from Gold Shell. It's supposed to achieve around 1.1 to 1.2 terahash at about 400 watts. I'm gonna try that out today in this video. We're gonna go through the unboxing process and everything. Thank you to CryptoMinerBros.com for sending me this KA box. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of tests with this thing. But first, before I do that, I have a little beef here with DJ Mines. He told me I was milking you guys about not showing the content of not taking this apart. The Ice River KS0 Pro. I'm gonna quickly show the inside of this. Let me take it apart right now to show you the insides. There's some people that haven't seen the inside of it. I'm gonna show you guys quickly right now. Let me take this apart. I'm gonna take out the four screws here. Taking this part off. This little, which is a really nice green Caspa logo on it. The commemorative Ice River KSEO Pro. All right, let me quickly take off this back side here. Oh, this warranty sticker. You know what, let's, let's take that. We don't need that, we don't need that. This part's off, okay. Let's open up now underneath. Six screws here. The back part here should just pop off. Probably have to give it a bit of force. There we go. Okay, all right, so there are fans in here. Take that out. All right, there, there's this side here, but I'm gonna do one better, just for you, DJ. Let me show you guys the other side here. Okay, that was the last screw, eight in total. All right, let's take this out. That was easy. Okay, let's see what this side looks like. Oh yeah, all right, DJ, what do you think? This is for you, bro. There, you can see the other side of the inside, the guts of the KS0 Pro commemorative Caspa edition. And they're using the pink thermal paste, which is really bad. Okay, we're gonna leave this for another video. I am still waiting for the copper heat sinks for the MOSFETs and I have everything else. So stay tuned for this video where I mod the KS0 Pro with fan shroud, Noctua fan, new thermal paste, of course, with using Arctic MX-6, and all that fun stuff. Okay, so just a little joke there. That was for DJ Mines, bro. Hope you love that, man. I know you were joking as well. I thought that'd be funny. Anyways, there you go. Okay, we got the Gold Shell KA box. It's already been opened by customs, it seems, so hopefully the machine is in here. Yeah, it does feel heavy. Okay, so let's do the unboxing real quick here. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay. Gold shell. All right, comes with this. Let's enjoy the journey. Thanks for ordering. All right, you guys can go ahead, scan all these QR codes if you want. Okay, now, ooh, it's got a Wi-Fi antenna. That's good. Take a look at that. Okay. Now, the miner itself. Oh, let's see. It's exactly the same size as one of those mini doges. Like the mini doge three, mini doge two. Yep, this looks to be the exact. Okay, so there's the product there. Gold Shell KA box, okay. 1.1, 1.2 terahash at 400 watts. That's the advertised, uh, the specs of this. Okay, so I'm gonna 
screw this Wi-Fi antenna on. Okay, that's on. All right, visual inspection first. First look of the KA box. All right, so there it is. Looks pretty cool. Okay. All right, so very typical size. Yeah, this is the exact same size as the uh, Mini Doge 3. Okay, I'm gonna do one better. I'm gonna take this apart in this video. I'm not even gonna turn it on yet. I'll turn it on after if we can uh, just see, you know, what this looks like in the guts. Okay, I guess some people might wanna know. I'm very curious as well. And uh, hopefully you guys like that or not. You know, I shouldn't have put this uh, antenna on otherwise I won't be able to take this take this part off okay so let me take out the looks like there's one two three four five six seven seven screws needed to get to the back here now I'm unsure if I need to take out this side or the other side but we'll take off both sides here yeah there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen screws on the front here that's pretty nuts all right let me do the back here This just comes off like this, okay. There we go, nothing too crazy. Ooh, what's this? Is that thermal paste? Ooh, let's see. Yep, that's thermal paste, all right, on the back of this. Ooh, yeah, actually, if I show you here, show you guys here, there's thermal paste residue on this part right here. Okay, lots of thermal paste going on here. I'm assuming that's for the, the heat sink here. Okay, all right, does this just simply, oh, Oh, it comes out. Oh, I may not need to take off the front side anyway. Uh, let me just make sure. Okay, looks like, okay, no, I see a four pin fan. All right, that uh, four pin fan power that's plugged in and it stops halfway. Look, I can't, I can't pull it out. I can't pull it out anymore. Yeah, I, I look, ugh, getting thermal paste all over my hands. I'm gonna have to, yeah, I can't reach that. I need to take out that pin right there. Uh, let's see if I can do it. No, nope, I gotta take out the front. I gotta take off the front. Okay, it's taking off all the screws. There's literally four warranty stickers around the screws. So, obviously if this breaks, I can't return it. Okay, um, I didn't take off the fan screws, just the ones that were holding this, so that I can easily pull this out. Okay, so there you guys go. Now, can I easily, yeah, I can take out the four pin. Okay, you guys can see. All right, it, the four pins look just like that, okay? So I'm just gonna unplug the four pins at the top here and this one here. Okay, so the fan, the front fan part is off. There you guys go. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the side here. Now, this part should just slide right off. Now we can see the inner, inner guts of the KA box, world's first. You guys are seeing it here. I guess the KS0 Pro and now the KA box. All right, so I don't know where to begin here. I'm just gonna show you guys all around. All right, so this is the top part. Okay, this is the top part here. All right, with the ethernet. So this looks like, you can see there's, look like there's bus bar power here. Okay, so obviously the power is at the top, the two six pins, all right? And looks like it goes into a portion like that. I don't think I can, can I take this off? It looks like this is like, like a PCI device. Uh, not a PCIe, looks like I can actually pull this up. So you know what? Let me just check here, okay? It looks like I can unscrew these two screws here, all right? And then I should be able to pull up this, I believe this would be the control board. So you know what, let me take these two screws off which uh, go into the, looks like that goes into the bus bar, all right, on the back here, as you guys can see uh, right there. So let me take off the screws. Second screw, and we'll see if I can pull this off. Looks like I can. All right, let's see. Can I take it up? Ugh, yes. Yes, there we go. Okay, it looks like that, all right? The pins that are plugged into for the uh, control board here. That's pretty cool, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so you guys can see more so the front part here or inside of it. Okay, looks pretty cool. 
interesting. I don't know where all these are going or what it's for, but that's what it looks like. The Wi-Fi in the back there. Okay, Wi-Fi part port. And uh, there's a power button, a reset button. I think this is the reset button. Okay, all right, I'm gonna put this part right up here. Now, this is obviously the hash, oh, it's sharp. It's very sharp. I'm getting thermal paste all over, but all right, this thing, there you guys go. All right, now I'm assuming you guys want me to take apart the uh, <sighs> the heat sink part, which it looks like there's a crap load of thermal paste, which I am I am not willing to re-thermal paste this, um, but look at that, look at that, guys, look at that. Uh, looks like these looks like there's thermal pad on this one. Okay, it doesn't look like thermal paste. Uh, thermal paste is gonna be on this one here by the looks of it. Okay, so you guys can see thermal paste on this shroud side, okay? But for those that may be wondering, is this like maybe similar to, I don't know, the Ice River one? Which actually I can just, I can literally bring this here. It's, it's not the same. It, this is definitely not the same as a gold shell, all right? The gold shell, the board design definitely looks, it would obviously, obviously different from the gold shell, Ice Rivers, KS0 Pro uh, to the gold shell here. But okay, all right guys, you know what? Let's, uh, let's put it all back together and uh, let, me, let me run it. DJ, if you have any snark comments regarding me not taking off the heatsink part, I'm coming after you, and that goes for the rest of you guys. Just, just kidding. All right, this thing's really sharp. All right, let me just put everything back in reverse order, and uh, let's turn this thing on and see how it performs. Thank goodness, there's only one way it actually goes in. You can see the indent line right here on the shell. It has to match up with the indent, just like that. Yeah, okay. Perfect, perfect, okay. Let's get the fan. Pins back on, okay, thank goodness I can pull this side out and second fan is in, okay. So this goes in like this, make sure this is not touching that. Okay, now I can slide everything back like so. All right, all right, let me screw it all back together. Okay, done, it's all together as best I could. I got. I, Great, I have thermal paste all over the gold shell. Looks, looks terrible now. All right, let's turn this thing on. I'm going to utilize a 750 watt HP server PSU on 240 volt and also a breakout board from Parallel Miner X11 and also two PCIe cables, uh, the Veteran Miner ones. So these should be pretty good and uh, nice and safe. So I'm gonna plug these in first. So the KA box takes 400 watts and we're gonna verify that in a second. So now let me plug in the six pin power and this one goes like this. Okay, so that's nice and in there. Now I need the ethernet and there's ethernet here. But this thing does have Wi-Fi, so I guess I'll set that up later, but let me I guess otherwise plug this in on the back. The Wi-Fi connector, okay, that's in. All right, let's, uh, let's turn this thing on. All right, hopefully it doesn't go up in smoke. Here we go, I need the power cable. I need to plug in a C13 to C14 power cable. Okay. All right, let's see if it works. Here we go, first time turn on after the teardown. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay. It's got some light. Looks like it's turning on. Hopefully it's not gonna give any errors. So we got network connectivity. Okay, let me go ahead and see if I can see it in the web GUI. Let me get the IP address. Okay, I am using advanced IP scanner. I'm gonna get the IP address here. Looks like it has a host name of QSDK, very popular host name for all the gold shells, majority of them. 10.100.100.153. So I'm gonna open up a browser. We're gonna go to 10.100.100.153, enter. And there we go, the web GUI of the gold shell KA box. I'm gonna change this to English. 
All right, you guys can see the firmware version, hardware version. Okay, I'm gonna unlock this. Password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unlock. All right, it's unlocked. Let's go to miner. Okay, it looks like it's got DX pool here as the stock one. All right, there's hash rate mode, idle mode, so there's no low power mode on this KA box. Okay, algorithm plan, cast by K heavy hash. All right, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna add our own pool here. And uh, let me do random one, caspapool.org. Okay, and also, if you watch this far, please comment down below if you want to win 24 hour hash rate of the Gold Shell KA box. I will give away 24 hour hash rate of this guy here. All you guys gotta do, comment down below in this video your opinion regarding the KA box. All right, comment down below, positive or negative. That's all you guys gotta do. And I will then pin your comment after 24 hours. I'll choose a winner, winner with a random comment picker and I'll give you a lucky winner, 24 hour hash rate of this Gold Shell KA box. All right, so get it down below. All right, let's get this thing mining. So North America, I'm going to copy the pool address here. We're going to go back to here, paste that in. Miner name. Okay, so I'm just going to get a random address from Zalcor here. I recommend using Tangem, okay, uh, for those that uh, want to get a cold storage wallet for Caspa. Use code RPM for 10% off if you want to get a Tangem wallet. Okay, so I pasted in the receiving address and I'm going to do also, I guess, period. Uh, KA box. There we go. Password X. Apply. There we go. I'm going to remove the stock one that was here. And there we go. This should go green. Yeah, it goes green. Okay, so that's a good indicator that it's going to start mining here. Okay, so I'm going to see how long it takes to start mining. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, it started mining basically right away. It started ramping up. I saw the power consumption. Now it's at uh, 387 watts. Okay, at around 224 volt. You guys can see there. Okay, so the advertised power consumption is true to what Gold Shell says. All right, now, yeah, it looks like it's mining just fine here. You guys can see it's blinking away. 390 watts. I'm assuming it depends on the ambient temperature. So if it's hotter in here, I'm assuming the fans would ramp up. But right now, yeah, this thing, I can't hear it at all. All right, I'll just show you guys. Yeah, it's, it's my other fans, my other equipment around here in my basement is louder. Okay, so about a foot away. This thing is pretty quiet. It's, it's pretty quiet. Like, I can't hear it if I stand, if I just sit here. It, it's dead quiet. Okay, but looks like it is mining. The web GUI does show that it is getting hash right here. If I go to the mining pool, it also shows up right here. KA box on caspa-pool.org. Looks like it's working. Okay, so yeah, there we go. We have really nothing to it. Very similar web GUI with the other gold shell miners. Uh, very typical of them. Now, there's something I wanna try. There is a secret web page. Uh, uh, from Gold Shell. It's called Debug and I don't see like obviously there's no place to click on it But you have to manually enter it in so I'm just gonna type in debug here in the web browser and Boom it comes up with a bunch more information here. Uh, let me bring you guys in the computer Okay, so minor history um, Let's look at this. Okay, so this is I guess this is what it was mining before so it looks like somebody did test this back in March 22nd. Okay, March 22nd, it is March 29th now, as of recording this video, you can, you can, you can see my, uh, this is the pool I just mined to, so it looks like someone, maybe January 1st, I don't know, maybe this is a shadow one, but it looks like March 22nd, it looks like someone did test this, like a week ago, and shipped to me that day. It did ship to me out this day, so interesting. Yeah, looks like that worked out. Okay, so that's cool. All right, but let's go along here. There's other tabs here. Okay, so KMSG. All right, I don't know what that stands for. I'm gonna scroll down here. Looks like it's just uh, some other information here. CPU, affinity, success. Okay, you guys can make do with that. There's a syslog here. All right, so I'm gonna, well, this is a really long log. I'm gonna go down here. All right, this is probably maybe just mining operation. You guys can see here, 
RGB control. Where's the RGB? I don't see any RGB. All right, looking up here. All right, PS, what's this? Is this uh, root? All right, we got some other information here. You guys can make do. Uh, Wi-Fi, okay, so this is like in Linux here. Okay, going along, mem. All right, this is the memory, total mem. I'm not sure how much that is. You guys can let me know down below, but there you guys go. Information here. Uh, release. Okay, nothing here. Let's go minor tab. And this looks like to be not that big, but looks like this is like more so hash rate. Okay, so we can see like fan speed, uh, temperature. Oh, is this 84? 84 degrees Celsius. Ooh, overheat zero. All right, so actually, if we go back to the normal web, I wonder if it shows the temperatures there. We'll go back to that in a sec. We got hardware errors, 26. Accepted, 61 accepted shares. All right, that coincides, I guess, with the uh, gold shell mining to Casper Pool here. Alive. All right, let's go to miner syslog. All right, there's more information here. That's pretty cool. All right, so the nonce, all right, finding the block. All right, that's cool. All right, monitor. All right, so let's go down here. Let's scroll down. Uh, all right, so fan, fan, fan status. So this is like the typical, shows the Casper Pool IP address here. All right, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy here. Fan control. Ah, okay, so looks like this is automated, right? It looks like, yeah, every couple seconds it looks like it's gonna change the fan speed up or down dependent on the temperature oh it says 80 degrees so is that is this in celsius that might that might seem pretty hot target temp 82 okay all right just touching oh my god actually touching the gold shell right now it's actually pretty hot all right i actually have a heat gun here we'll do that in a second all right chips okay this is the important part all right all right we got some uh hardware errors on some of the chips so maybe just maybe I need to re-thermal paste this. Yeah, you know what? I may re-thermal paste it if you know some of these chips are maybe overheating. But looking at the temperatures, temp one. All right, doesn't show any temp there. Good cores, 32, okay. Chip map, all right. So it looks like there's 30 chips on a single board by the looks of it, okay. So that's pretty cool, nonce, all right, nonces. I guess the hash right here, reject one. All right, well, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back to the regular here, and I just want to see if it shows regular temperatures. Ooh, yeah, 82 degrees Celsius. Oh, I feel like that's not good. But the hash rate is showing here, average 1228 giga hash, or 1.2 tera hash. Okay, all right, so that's uh, looking down here. The singular control board, you guys can see here, 82.5 degrees Celsius. Non says accepted. Hardware error, 32, ooh. Maybe that's because I opened it and, uh, but you know, I would say, I know that some of the miners, gold shells, they do the hardware errors in the beginning and then afterwards it, it's mostly accepted shares. So this is just, I think in the beginning, let's just refresh the Casper pool here. All right, so still gonna keep climbing here, I'm sure, but uh, I have a feeling this is not right. 82 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is, just putting my hand on this is extremely hot right now. I do see the fans moving, all right, so it's very hot to touch. Now, let's go ahead and uh, let's turn my heat thermometer gun here. All right, I wanna see, you know, how hot this thing is. Okay, so obviously it's uh, showing right now inside, it's showing Max right now says 54, 54 degrees Celsius. Now, if I go at the top here, okay, I do have a red, the red part. So that red part is showing about 54, 54 as well. No, uh, sorry, 27. Real time right now is 27 degrees Celsius at the top. So let's see, at the PCIe, PCIe is showing 26. All right, so that's not too bad, but let's, you know, let me turn this thing around. Let's turn this thing around. Maybe we can get better readings on the, oh, that, yeah, that's, that's a good amount of heat coming out of the back here. All right, oh yeah, look at that. That's, that, this is hot. This is the hottest part right here, the heat sink. All right, so that is a temperature of uh, 76, 76 degrees Celsius on the heat sink. Oh my God, that's, 
I feel like that's that's really bad. Yeah, 78 right now, max. Center is 70, 72 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's hot. I am not comfortable with this. If I were to run this upstairs to heat my house, I don't think I'd ever run this at 72 degrees Celsius. I feel like a fire would happen. I am not happy about that. Okay, you know what? I feel like there's gonna be, there, there needs to be a mod. We, we, we need the mod. All right, meter box, if you're watching this, we're gonna need a secondary fan, probably both fans on each side to keep this thing cool somehow. A fan shroud here like this with a hole for the cables, a little bit wider. You know, I, I could see that. You know, I could see that being a thing. Meter box, make it happen. That'd be cool. I'd, I'd buy one just for this. This is, that's not good. 72 degrees Celsius on the back coming out of here. That's hot, man. And the software uh, heat here, Celsius is showing 81. Yeah, that's... Whew, that is that is too hot for my liking. I I am not I am not happy about that. Gold shell. Why aren't the fans? Maybe is there fan control here? Can I uh, can I up the fans on this thing? No, there's no there's no fan control. There is no place for me to change the fan speed. So I just looked. That's uh, that's not good. Okay. Well, there you guys go. There's the gold shell KA box. We've took it apart. I've tested it and the, the temperatures are are quite bad just it's literally now looks like it's uh 402 watts now so it's gone up obviously i'm i'm assuming because now we're getting more resistance because this thing is getting quite hot and uh it's uh yeah i this i would not run this safely in your house upstairs no i'm just saying if this thing catches on fire it's because of the pretty hot temperatures this thing is providing okay all right guys that's it for this video you guys let me know your thoughts and i will give you guys your 24 hour hash rate of this ka box thank you to crypto miner bros for shipping this to me thank you guys so much gold shell as well working together with crypto miner bros yeah this thing is hot man look at that you guys can see this thing is this thing is pretty brutal 35 degrees on the front but on the back it's like 70 something oh pretty hot all right let me know what you guys think comment down below i will pin the comment after 24 hours one of you lucky casper miners will win the hash rate for this let me know what you guys think i appreciate you all have a good one peace out peace out